Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the next operation which is vector addition. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Pag sinabi natin vector addition, involve tayo ng dalawang vectors. Say for example, we have vector A na ito yung components, tapos vector B na ito yung components. Para makuha natin yung sum nilang dalawa na A plus B, Ia-add lang natin yung corresponding components nila. Ibig sabihin, A sub 1 sa B sub 1, A sub 2 sa B sub 2, A sub 3 sa B sub 3, and so on, hanggang makarating ka sa A sub n plus B sub n. Bigay tayo agad ng example. Ito yung mga vector natin, vector u, vector v, and vector w. We have to find the following. Simulan natin sa v plus w. v plus w is just adding the corresponding components. So we have 1 plus 12, 0 plus 9, and negative 5 plus 5. The answer here will be 13, 9, 0. Yan yung sagot sa vector v plus w or yung tinatawag natin na resultant vector. Pag sinabing resultant vector, yung pinakasagot. Next naman, ang i-add natin ay itong u at v. Pero may problema. Yung u, dalawa ang components. Yung v, tatlo. Same goes with example C. Ang w natin, merong tatlong components. Ang u natin, dalawang components lang. Kapag ganyan, we cannot add them. Ibig sabihin, their answers are undefined. Kaya ito yung isa sa mga kailangan yung tandaan pag kayo ay nagpa-perform ng vector addition. Kailangan pareho yung number of components nila. Otherwise, their sum is undefined or hindi sila pwedeng i-add. Yes, we now proceed to graphing the resultant vector. Recall from the previous video na ganito tayo mag-graph ng vector u at vector v palaging nasa origin yung kanilang starting point. Para makuha natin yung kanilang resultant vector which is itong diagonal na to, parang ililipat lang natin yung u, pwedeng u ang ilipat, idugtong sa v. Yung head ng v, idudugtong sa tail ng u. Parang ganito, v tsaka u. Kung ano yung end point, yun yung sagot ng resultant vector u plus v. O kaya naman, kung ayaw mong u ang mag-adjust, v yung mag a -adjust. Yung v, iaakyat mo dito. Para yung head ng u ay mapakabit sa tail ng v. Yun ang tinatawag natin na head-to-tail method. Ang isa pang way para intindihin tong graph na to, kumbaga mag-drawing ka ng paralelogram, i-drawing mo dito yung V at the same time lagyan mo ng V sa taas. Tapos yung U nandito, lagyan mo din ng U dito sa kanan. And then you connect these two points, yung point ng intersection ng dalawang din drawing mo tsaka yung origin. Yung haba ng diagonal na yon Yun ang tinatawag natin na u plus v based on the parallelogram law of vector addition. Paano naman kung vector subtraction? Vector subtraction is like the combination of scalar multiplication na negative 1 yung scalar tapos vector addition din. Let's use this given. Meron tayong same Given for vectors, we have to find v minus w or pwede natin siyang tingnan as v plus negative 1 times w. In other words, kuhanin muna natin yung negative w. Negative w is negative 12, negative 9, and negative 5. Ito ngayon ang ia-add natin sa v. So, we have V minus W is 1 plus negative 12. 
0 plus negative 9 and negative 5 plus negative 5. So, ganyan tayo gumawa ng subtraction. We have here negative 11. This is negative 9 and this is negative 10. Ito ngayon yung resultant vector ng V minus W. For this next part, I want you to pause this video and try doing this on your own. Paano naman kung nauna yung W tapos minus V? After 10 seconds, i -re review natin yung tamang sagot. For this example E, if a follow lang natin yung example D. Ibig sabihin, we have here W plus negative 1 times V. Unahin muna natin yung negative V. Again, scalar multiplication. Ang scalar ay negative 1. This will be negative 1, 0, and positive 5. In-invert ko lang yung sign. Tapos, tsaka natin siya ipepair dun sa W. W natin is 12 plus negative 1. Tapos, we have 9 plus 0. We also have 5 plus 5. Meron tayo ngayon na 11. This is 9 and this is 10. W minus V has the following components. Kung mapapansin niyo hindi exactly the same yung ating components. Lahat ng nandito ay mga negative, tapos ito positive. Kung baga, sign lang yung pinag-iba nila. In other words, from this example B and example E, we can say that vector subtraction is not commutative. Kasi kapag pinagpalit mo yung placement ng vectors sa vector subtraction, hindi naman magpapareho yung component ng resultant vector. So that's it for vector addition and subtraction. Thank you for watching. If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video.